The sequel to Final Fantasy VII Remake has been revealed, and it even has a release window. Yesterday, Square Enix held a live stream for the 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII. During the stream, Square announced the return of Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, which will be ported slash remastered and launches on all consoles and PC this winter, which could mean end of this year or beginning of next year. I feel like a lot of people forget that winter crosses over, so don't get too hyped for a 2022 release date. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII is an action RPG and and prequel to the original Final Fantasy VII release. The game follows Zack Fair, the BFF to Cloud Strife, during his time as a mercenary for the Shinra Electric Power Company. This remaster marks the first time in 14 years that Crisis Core will be playable on modern platforms, as there have been no other ports of the game since its original launch on the PSP in March of 2008. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Remastered will launch this winter on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So if the Final Fantasy VII prequel is coming to Xbox, then that should mean the remake is coming to Xbox. Well, not exactly. Unfortunately, there was still no mention of the game making an appearance on Microsoft's consoles. Instead, Square announced that PC players would now be able to buy Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate via Steam starting on June 17th. And if you're lucky enough to have a Steam Deck, you'll be happy to know that Integrate is verified. But if you're like me and you've already beaten Remake, then you might be more interested in part two instead of just another store to buy part one from. Luckily, the sequel did make an appearance and it's called Final Fantasy VII Rebirth instead of Remake Part Two. Square also noted that this is the second entry in a trilogy, marking our first official understanding of how many parts this new Final Fantasy VII series will be. The trailer explored the cliffhanger left by the first game with various characters exploring what it means now that fate has seemingly been changed. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is coming next winter on PlayStation 5, and I'm starting to feel so invested that I might actually play the original now. But if I don't end up playing it soon, it might be because Nintendo has confirmed that Pokemon Snap will be added to Switch Online and Expansion Pack on June 24th. Originally released on the N64 in 1999, Pokemon Snap was a departure from the usual RPGs in the series as players would tap with capturing Pokemon on film and not in Pokeballs. Last year, new Pokemon Snap debuted and fleshed out the Safari experience with a more vivid and captivating selection of Pokemon on Switch. So now you can easily switch between the two versions in a Snap. Let me know in the comments how corny my jokes are. Let me know what you're playing this weekend and I'll see you next week.